kind of gets boring. I mean, I I enjoy occasionally seeing like a a newer actor try to you know get to the upper stratosphere because it didn't take too long for Tom ha Tom Hanks or, or Tom Cruise to get to like the top echelon, and they have stayed there for a very long time. Like um Leo. Leo DiCaprio, he's been up there for a very long time. But yeah, in terms of like actresses, it's like um you're either um beautiful or you've got um extremely good acting skills. So like a classic example would be Meryl Streep, right? But in terms of like beautiful actresses, well there's there's too many to name. Scarjo is obviously like one of the top most beautiful actresses. Who else? Who else? Like you see a lot of Cara Delevingne. Um, although her music, uh, her movies have been pretty bad. Um, what's another one? What's another like? I think I missed one of your comments, but it's in the. Yeah. So sometimes I can um, get it in the chat, but then other times it's in the, the chat box, and I, I miss what is in the, the thing. Yeah, and, and because the, the, the sideways um, chat box doesn't get everything... Okay, so let me see. You have to remember though, for the actors and actresses working alongside him, that is an experience worth uh, putting underwears in their resume. Hmm. I don't know why spellcheck replaced whatever I said with underwear, ignore that. Um, I, I, think, I think I get what you mean though, like um, the chance to work with these sorts of top level actors and actresses is worth putting on their resume, sure sure sure. But like um, when people think Hollywood, they still think like, you know, old Hollywood I think. I think actually though, maybe that's my boomer mindset, I think it is kind of changing to the point where like I'm seeing these new movies with these new actors and I have no connection to them. Like I haven't seen any of their previous work and I just, I don't believe that their acting skill is that great. And so I'm like immediately put off. But I mean, yeah I think I'm, I'm going into too many tangents and I'm getting away from the main point. So, I think our main point was that, um, Scar Joe is getting on, and Tom Cruise is getting on, and my opinion is they should make way for the new crowd, even if we don't like them. They may be the focus, but they also bring new people into the spotlight. For example, I believe that's now, that's how Chris Pratt got his start. Yeah. I think, actually, Chris Pratt's star is fading a little bit. Especially with the, uh, the whole church thing that he's got going on, a couple of his conservative views, that's put off a lot of people. I don't really care about Chris Pratt though. I really don't. Anyway. Full conversation. Let's get back to the game a little bit. Being a chimp, I hate whatever you want to get your society, Marvel society moving. <laughs> but you can't just rid yourself of those feelings, or if, or if you've got, if you're the one that's put yourself in that situation to begin with, you can't magic it away. And what, what's all this talk about optimizing decisions like? It's, it's like, it's assuming best case scenarios, I think. Like, there's, there's still gonna be, like, miscommunication, misconceptions, conflict. Even if we augment ourselves. Whereas, I think here, they're saying, oh no, that can't possibly happen, because we've, like, you know, done this, and it'll be impossible to happen. No. Yeah, it's cool talking about this stuff, because differing opinions matter. Yeah. I think... Growing up, one of my biggest sort of things, flaws, was being a bit too dogmatic. Whereas now, um, 
I think that's kind of an internet problem now, um, <laughs> if you look at Twitter. Like, there's only one correct way to look at something. It's uh, a lot of zero-sum. Everything's binary. Uh, binary choice. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. If we all agreed upon everything, life would be boring. It simply would be. You do have to have a little bit of conflict here. And that's where I think this game is trying to hammer that point home. Yeah, disagreements can lead to war. Mm. But but let's not let's not like okay the the most recent example being in Ukraine, but that wasn't a war, that was an invasion. Now I think it's going to be a, a war very soon. But yeah. the downside of being human, am I am I all right? Am I am I right? Maybe he's watching it. I mean, there's always going to be war, I think. Always. Yeah, yeah. That dang autocorrect. I think it's important just to keep talking as much as possible rather than resort to violence. There are some people though, as I said, like they are very dogmatic and will not um, listen to reason. They will hold on to a belief um, even if they know in their heart that it's incorrect. And that I think can lead to a, a source of great conflict, but I mean that's just, that's just who we are as a species I guess. Oh great, we have an AI that's going to take care of us, like Skynet? Okay, sure. Oh god, yeah. Let's just entrust it to the uh, the uh, the supercomputers that we've uh, built, and then have out outpaced us. Yeah, because they have outpaced us, therefore they, sh they have the right to choose and, uh, and take away our free will. No. No. Shut the front door. Hmm. Uh oh. Hope she doesn't jump. All right. So Akara put the junk implants into her. That's made her feel suicidal. Let's um okay chill she's she's chill chill Jill she's just chill step forward all right she's about to jump let's have some chill pulse dialogue
your life could use a new direction or don't give up your life could use a new direction hmm I really do feel like in real life I would definitely advise the first one like no no keep explaining until you're blue in the face well that's why she's here in the first place right like if you're finding that your situation's um suboptimal then recess the situation maybe you need a sea change Step four, bro. So I've often thought of that sort of concept you know if it's uh, so bad you could um, quit your job you could sell all your possessions I mean you could do a lot of very drastic things um, it's just pulling the trigger then you're like you, you get too deep in your thoughts about it and you're like like this makes me feel very uncomfortable and like there's no safety net and what if, I, what if I do if it all goes wrong anyway? Chill pulse. Bit better. If I do that, I feel like she's going to jump, but uh, I have to try. Yeet. Okay, good. My name is Jeff. I should have done the chill pulse. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? She was the one that said don't talk any further. Mm-hmm. 